What's going on, Dub Nation? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, everybody, for joining me today. Today is, I think this is, is this? No, this is the second video, second embroidery video I'm doing for the new year. You see the Brother SE600 in the background, and when you see that machine, you know what time it is. Guys, you know it's a very, very powerful machine when I possess the PE800, but I'm still doing videos on the Brother SE600. So guys, we're not done with the SE600 yet. We're not just gonna toss it to the side and ignore it. We're still gonna be doing embroidery videos using this, but we are gonna start Im implementing the PE800. So just bear with me as the videos roll out. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you stay tuned, and make sure you ring the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload new content, guys. So today we'll be stitching out a king, a king design. This design is going to be available on allenaway.com. Same price, $1, $1, very affordable for everybody. So you can stitch along with this video, guys. Thank you very much for supporting the channel by purchasing your $1 file. And if you are in the market for a SE600 or a PE800, make sure you use my link down in the description below to purchase your machine. It helps the channel out a lot. I'm an Amazon affiliate and I get a small commission every time you use my link to buy anything on Amazon. So I greatly appreciate it. Let's jump into it, guys. We are all loaded up and ready to go. You see our linen with our tearaway stabilizer. You see the memory card inserted into the side, which has our files on it. And we also have our bobbin thread already uh, inserted on top of the machine. So we're just gonna go ahead to the screen and we're gonna navigate to our design. Once again, you can purchase this design from allenaway.com, www.allenaway.com. Purchase your embroidery file for $1 and stitch along. Purchase any of these embroidery files that I have on the website for $1. You see the many files that I have on here on this memory card. You can purchase a memory stick that you can just put into the side of your machine with all these designs on them. So this is the one that we're gonna be doing today. Set, uh, we're gonna embroider, ed hit end edit, and just go ahead and just start embroidering because we already have everything loaded up and ready to go, guys. All right, so let me adjust my camera a little bit in real time. All right, no cuts, no edits. You know how I do, nothing changed, nothing changed. I could jazz it up and make it all fancy, but I don't wanna be fake, guys. So uh, now let's bring it out and we're just gonna start embroidering. Just gonna press the button, jumping straight into it, guys. Here we go. SE600 laying out that outline. You see how good of a job it does right there. Let me get closer. If you haven't done so already, please hit that like button. I greatly appreciate it, thank you. It's a fabulous, fabulous layout. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I stitched this design out like three times just so I can make sure I got it right for you guys. And this one right here, this version right here, I have not stitched out. So this is the first time I'm stitching out this specific version of the stitch out. But I anticipate that it should go very well. We'll see after it's stitched out. But you see the SE600, you already can see like the shape of the design, the head, of the uh, King already. So the SE600 laid down the back stitch and now it's going to lay down the solid fill stitch right here. And you see it doing its work. You see how quality of a machine it is, especially after this is done. So like I said, in all my designs, like I always say, in all my designs, I make these, these uh, videos so that you guys can stitch along with whatever design you choose to buy on the website. You can just stitch along with the video so you guys know what you're getting, you know how it's supposed to look, you know how it's gonna come out already before you even stitch the design out, all right? Just follow along with the video and you can't go wrong. See the SE600 approaching the end of this particular stitch. And I want you guys to keep something in mind when you're stitching this out. You can make any part of this design, you can insert any color thread you want to. So you can make little weird color uh, faces. You can make the eyebrows, the eye, any color you want to. You can make the crown different colors. You can make the jewel different colors. So 
It's a really, really fun design, so I, I want you guys to experiment with it when you make your different, different heads, okay? So experiment with it, have fun with it, guys. All right, so we're approaching the end of this particular color, and we're gonna swap it out in just one moment. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. You see the SE600 has stopped, and after it stopped, it moved away, and you see it already pull the thread out, which is a good thing. We don't have to swipe underneath like we always do because it's already loose. Okay, and just, just this right here. I mean, look how good it looks. Look how good that looks. All right, so if you haven't purchased your SE600 yet, go ahead, use my link down in the description below and purchase your machine today so you can stitch along with the next design, but check this out. So right now, the machine is asking for the next color. All right, let me focus a little bit, focus on there. I think I might be too close with the lens. Yeah, so it's asking for, and got a glare from my ring light over here. So it's asking for the next color, um, which is the gold, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and load up the gold. Show you guys how to do that. For those of you who are unfamiliar, I raised the presser foot already. The uh, foot already. So I'm just gonna take my thread. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it out. And as I'm pulling it out, I'm gonna wrap it up. All right, wrapping it up, because I'm not gonna use this color again. So I can wrap this up and put it away. Go ahead, grab my spool saver. Links to all the products that I'm using are in the description below. And go ahead and save that spool so it doesn't get all tangled up. Use my spool saver. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my gold color and load it up in the machine. Watch how easy it is to load in here. Put my finger on here. Pass it through this little loop thing right here, around. And I just got my finger still held here on the thread to give it some tension. Down, around, so to add some resistance while I'm doing this. Around, down, let go. Grab it with two fingers. Put it inside this little thing right here, little grappler. Not behind here. I got a, a person, one of our subscribers, um, who was putting it all the way behind here, but can't put it behind here, that's not gonna work. And then you're gonna go up, and then when you go up right here, you pull on a little bit, a little, pull on it a little bit, get a little bit of uh, slack, um, so you have a nice long enough edge. Let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And then raise this, push this down right here, so it comes down, and then you just go ahead and boom, boom, just like that, all right? Just like that, swipe underneath, clip a little bit, and we're ready to go, ready to rock and roll. All we gotta do now is push this button right here. Let's push it. And we are off to the races, and you see the SE600 stitching out the second part of the design, which is the crown. All right, looking very good, looking very dope. Can't wait to see how this comes out. I'm actually really, really anxious because I hope it doesn't leave like a big gap or anything. So we'll see how this turns out, guys. Once again, if you haven't purchased your SE600, use my link down below, purchase your SE600. Don't forget to visit alanaway.com right now and buy all of my embroidery files. They're only $1 each and I greatly appreciate it. This year, a goal of mine is to increase the revenue on my e-commerce store. So you guys tell me what you guys think I can do to increase the revenue in my e-commerce store. Should I just keep on making embroidery files? Do you guys think I should open an Etsy shop? I was thinking about that because the, the actually the audience for this, all the buyers for this are actually on Etsy. So let me know what you guys think about that. You guys think I should open up an Etsy because the Etsy is going to feed the YouTube channel also. It's also going to drive people to the YouTube channel. People from Etsy, I'm going to put some stuff from my, you know, about my YouTube and they're going to go over there and the people, they're going to visit the website and through the website, you're going to come back to the, the YouTube because you're going to want to watch the videos while you stitch out the files, right? That's what I would do. That's what I think. So let me know what you guys think down in the description below. So you see how good that crown looks. You could actually stop the design right here and still have a great quality product, guys. What do you guys think? I think so. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, All right? So now that part is done and we're gonna load up the black and continue on with this design. So 
like we did before. Up, swipe, release, pull out the thread, boom, wrap it up, just like that, like that. All right, spool saver, because we're not using this again. Wrap it up, get the black, because that's what it's calling for next, the black thread. And this part right here, you can just let, let stitch out. You don't even have to do any of your trims right now. You can save the trims for the last. It's only one trim that you have to stop and uh, trim. And I'm gonna show you guys which one that is. And right now I'm just quickly threading the machine up like I do down the hoop. Boom, pull it through. Blow, bing. Bada bing, bada boom, ready to stitch out just like that. How fast is that, right? So now, let's let it do its thing, man. All right, what's it doing right now? What, what part of the design is this? What part of the game is this, guys? Is this some detail? Is this some sick detail? Looks like detail to me, what is that? Is that an ear? Now watch this, see this jump? It's gonna jump over there. Now you can just let it do its thing. You don't have to stop and trim this one. Just let it do its thing, all right? Now it's gonna jump somewhere else and start something else. Just like I said, let it do its thing. You don't even have to cut that. Not right now, all right? Let it continue to do its thing. Stitch all around the body right there. And let it complete all of the black stitching. And then I'll get right back to you after this word from me. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Thank you. Just an update so you guys can see how the stitch is going, see how it's looking, see how it's turning out. How do you guys think it's turning out? Are you guys convinced yet? Should you go over to allenaway.com and purchase this file so you can own it? I think so. I think it's quality. If, if it was me, I would get the file. So let me know what you guys think about this down in the description below already. Is it worthy? Is it worthy is the question, guys. Look how sick that looks. I mean, our skills are really, really improving, guys. What do you think? What do you think? I think so. So, I just wanted to show you guys that this is how simple it is. Like, when you purchase the file, you're literally gonna follow along with the video. And that's how simple it is. You know, if you do everything just like, I just, just like I'm showing you in the video, yours should come out looking exactly like mine does. All right, boom, little eyebrow right there. And that's it for the black. See that? Now you can go ahead and make all your trims if you want to. All right. So this is what we're gonna do. Let me look. Let me look and see what, what what's next, and then I'll tell you guys what to do. All right. Swipe once. It's asking for the little small piece. The little. Uh, I'm gonna make these eyebrows like. I mean, a, um, a eye color. It's asking for the eye color part. Let me show you on the screen. So on the screen. Right there, right here on the SE600, you can see that the whole design only takes a total of 11 minutes to stitch out. And um, right now we only have three minutes left to stitch out. And you can see where the machine is. It says it's on the eye part. So I'm gonna go ahead and load up the uh, thread, the bobbin thread for the eye part of these, this design right here. So just pay attention. I'm gonna do it one more time for you guys. We already took the old one out, put the thread in around here. Boom, boom, this simple, just like that. Around, down, like that, in, like that. Bring that down that fast. It's not a race as much so as repetition. And after you've done it a few times, you'll be doing it really fast and you'll be really proficient in it. And that's it, we're ready to stitch it out, let's go. This part's gonna be real fast, watch. It's literally just gonna stitch the eye out and that's it. Boom and done. That fast, right? 
All right, so now we're gonna start stitching out some crown jewels. Nice, got the face coming together. I could have put some stuff around the nose and stuff and went all out, but we're gonna get to those faces soon. Don't worry about it, we'll get to the whole faces. So now we're gonna do the crown. Pull out the whole thread. And um, what I'm doing is I'm, of course, putting the spool saver on there, wrapping it all up. Just got two more colors left. I'm going to do a, a blue and a bright yellow. You guys can do, like I said, any color that you want to, but these are the colors that I chose for mine. And you can make a white face with the uh, black accents or a purple face with green accents, purple face, uh, yellow face with orange accents. You can just be very, very creative with this design and make anything you want to pretty much and it'll come out looking great, you know, cause that's the way I set up these embroidery files to work with the SE600. That's the way I digitize these files. So, okay, you're gonna see it stitch out three diamonds, some jewels to go on that crown right there. And you don't even have to do this part. You can actually stop right there if you wanted to guys. All right, that's how this design is. You can stop. You don't have to do exactly everything that I have on here. Boom. And you see how I have this set up? It's like you can save all your cuts for the very, very last. Now I'm gonna stop right here and load up my yellow. And we're gonna be pretty much done. Up, swipe, out, wrap it up, wrap it up. Like so, all right, boom, make sure. Of course, you, you're gonna put the spool saver on yours. I'm just gonna sit mine to the side for the sake of the video. Got my bright yellow. Insert in here. Oh, got some thread. Boom, boom, down here. Don't have any tension on it with my finger like I normally do. Let me put that tension on there. My finger, boom. Uh, in here, got a pass through, down, thread, round, swipe, boom, ba boom, bada ba bing, bada ba boom, boom, and clip a little bit, and embroider, and look at it, look at it go. Circle, then a little jewel in the middle. All right, and then we are all done the file. Look at that little, little bit of hiccup right there. And it says embroidery file finished embroidering, right? So you just, you can verify that. You just press OK, it goes right back like it's ready to stitch another one. And then let's take a look at this bad boy. Aha, uh -huh. that's what I'm talking about. You see the lighting? All right, so clip, 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 clip. All right, of course, clip, 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 clip. And there's one right here from, it goes from here to here. I'm just gonna clip that one also. Clip and clip. And this is what we got, guys. What do you guys think? Good design. Good design. I think it came out great. This is our King Collection. We're going to call this the King Collection right here. All right. So go over to alanaway.com and purchase your file today. Available right now starting the King Collection, alanawade.com. Purchase your file. Looks good, looks clean. What do you guys think? Down in the comment section down below. You guys can change this to any color you want. Got some jewels in there, got the ears in there, got the lips, got the eyes, got the uh, eyebrows, and you can tell it looks, it even looks eyebrow-y. Whatever, <laughs> eyebrow-y, it even looks eyebrow -y. Look at that, look at the detail. Nice, SE600, purchase yours today using my link 
down below. Greatly appreciate it, guys. I gotta be honest with you guys. This design came out real good, better than I thought it was gonna come out. So this is very, very worth the $1 that you're gonna pay for it on alanaway.com. Uh, I'm gonna start making some more complex designs. I have some that I made from before, but I, I, I didn't like them enough to put them on the website, but I'm gonna start making some more really, really good complex ones and putting them up for a little bit more money because they're gonna be well worth it. But this is um, an example of the detail that I'm able to get on the SE600 using the Digitize Software Brother PE Design 10. So uh, yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. Hope it showed you what the machine is capable of doing. If you haven't purchased yours yet, don't forget to use my link down in the description below to purchase your machine. And stay tuned for more exciting and dope designs coming from the brother SE600 as well as the PE800. And I have a surprise for you guys coming up in the next few videos. So make sure you guys stay tuned. New equipment alert. Peace. It's your boy and I'm out. Turn up that. Crank it up. While I listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best, baby.